Today I'm going to share a little bit about Google Calendars and how we can create a Google Calendar for our classroom and you could actually share information about things that are happening in your classroom or at your school and actually embed that calendar onto your our school today site. So my first step is coming over I first of all need a Google account and signing in normally and we would click on calendar and then come over to where it says my calendars. This is the location where we need to create a new calendar. So I click on the drop down menu and create new calendar. And I'm just gonna label it third grade team. I can put a little description in. I want to make sure it's public so people can actually see the events that are on the ca calendar and also some of the details that are there as well. Now let's say that I wanted to share it with the rest of my teammates. Here's where I could enter, copy paste in their emails. I want to set their permission settings so they can make changes and manage sharing. This would allow them to have that calendar and also add events to it through their Google account. So if I clicked add person, I'm not going to do that at the moment, but that would add a person to that calendar. Now I'm finished so far. I click create calendar. They're going to warn us that everything is going to be public that we put on there. So we need to remember that we're not putting full names and different things about students or personal information because this is a public calendar so others can view it. So just making sure to be aware of that as you're posting information on your calendar. You would click yes. And now I have my calendar set up. So let's say that Friday from 9 to 10 that we're having an event. Now you could type your information in here. You could put presentation and you can make sure to select not to put it in your personal calendar but you want to put it on the third grade team calendar. Now I want to add a little bit more information. I could create event like this or I need to add maybe a few details about it. So I'd click edit event and here's where I could set that you could add a reminder. So if let's say down the road parents add this calendar to their um, Google Calendar. It would send them an event 10 minutes before it would pop up a reminder. You can even set that it would email them before. So this is a great way to send email reminders or different things using this calendar to parent with parents. Now I wanted to put that author is coming to school. So this is going to just share what's going on um, for parents or you could write an assignment detail in here and sharing what was due, maybe a link to help them finish it. And this is a great way that if you're maybe at a high school level you could share this calendar out. Students could add it to their device and have this information available all the time and not forget their assignments. So we would then click save and I have my presentation over here. Now I need to be able to share this calendar. So what I'm going to do is come over where it says third grade team, the calendar that I want to share, and I'm going to click the drop down menu again and click share this calendar. Now it'll bring me to this screen and I want to come over here to calendar details. This is where it'll give me an option to embed this calendar. And I want to embed it because then it'll actually put the calendar onto my website. So I like to customize the color and options. So I like to make it just a little bit smaller. So if I did 600 by 600, and it'll automatically update that calendar then as we go. Um, we can default which week. I like to start out on Monday. And then I can also choose which calendars I want to show. Let's say we had a couple calendars. I wanted to show the fourth grade team as well and they had shared it with me. I could embed both calendars at the same time. Now when I feel I have everything set so the way that I like it, I would click up where it has the HTML code up at the top and I would right click and I would copy it. Now I'm going to show you how to take this and put it into our school today since that is the website system that we use. So I'd come back over to our school today. I would create a schedule button and I would change that to custom where you're able to input an embed code and I would click save changes. That's well, this last one that I added today. So I'd come over to edit the schedule button. I'd click on schedule. And now this screen comes up. Now I want to embed this calendar so it would actually show up. I don't want to link to it. I want to actually have it show up on my website. So I would come over and click the source button and this may pop up. This basically means like you would put a space in so you can actually delete this and it won't matter. So when it's completely blank, this is where you're going to want to paste in that code that you copied from the Google Calendar. So it'll look like this. Um, after you've pasted this in, come back and click on source and your calendar should pop up on your screen. And we always want to make sure to hit save. Now to just see what it looks like, you can click on view your site and sure enough there's your Google Calendar. Let's say that 9 a.m. presentation, I wanted parents to check that out. My description is right here, authors coming to school. They can either copy this to the calendar 
or if they wanted to copy the whole thing they can click right here and it would add the whole calendar into their Google Calendar which I think is apparent to have that information available what's going on in class or as a high school teacher or middle school teacher it could be kind of like or even elementary for that matter a way that you could put assignments out there and have it on a Google Calendar where parents could add it in and could view that with their students even if they're curious what was going on in class and it's really easy to update and when you update it in Google it'll actually update on the Our School Today site so that's an easy way that you can have things ready to go and in your calendar and not having to do the paper copies every time anymore so that is the end of this tutorial